Welcome back to Capillaris Talk TV. I'd like to introduce my next guest. She's a certified ultimate stager from Black Diamond Home Staging Company. Here is Carol Davoglio. Hi, Carol. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the opportunity to have me on your show. Yeah, it's great. Let's talk about uh, home staging. What are some of the benefits from home staging? Well, um, it's a well-known fact that 10% of homeowners uh, can visualize an unstaged home. Yes. Um, and also, within the first six steps of walking into a home, they make their start making their decisions, and they, a lot of times they do buy with emotion. So the way a house looks, the way a house feels is very important. Makes a difference. I find from my perspective as a real estate agent that by staging a home or getting a home staged from a, a certified stager like you, uh, there's a faster sales time. And I got some stats here. 93% of staged uh, homes sell in less than three weeks. So right. they sell in a faster time period and they also get a higher price, correct? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Um, stats say about 7% um, more on the average for a staged home compared to an unstaged home. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is also um, myself and a lot of other realtors like having home staged because they look good in photos. Yes. You know, and where do people go uh, to, to look at houses nowadays? Online. Online, yes. They're online <laughs> first, yeah. right? Yes. So if the house is staged and the photos look good, uh, then it's a win-win situation, and that's where you get the buyer's interest. They mm -hmm. look good on feature sheets. You know, anytime a, a home is staged, it's always thought of as being well cared for, correct? That's correct, yes. All right. So staging is very important. Um, what are some of the reasons why you shouldn't sell your home vacant? Well, like, like we said before, uh, the visual visualization of uh, buyers when they come in, they, it's very difficult for a lot of buyers to visualize what that room, what that space will hold. Right. Um, as far as even, uh, you know, a king size bed to a queen size bed or th what, what the potential of that space is. Um, and they will turn away from that house. Right, right. It doesn't have any warmth. The, it no. lacks the warmth from the right. furniture mm -hmm. and the decor. And sometimes uh, people tend to think that a vacant home shows desperation, that you Correct. need yeah. to sell, you know, uh, that the seller needs to sell right away. So we don't advise that you sell a home wa a vacant at all. I think it should always have furniture and be staged for the simple reasons that the buyer can visualize themselves living in that home, That's correct? Right. Yeah. How do you go about redesigning a property? Yeah. So redesigning, when we redesign, it's mainly for the, for the client, so it's the customer. And it's very important that you get them involved in the process as well. Um, what I do in my practice is I go in, uh, I, I include them in the process as far as what it is that they would like to um, redesign as far as what rooms and all, all the rooms, is there any construction involved, and get them involved. It's very, very important when you enter their home because it is their home and, it, and it's a privilege to, uh, to go into their home that you really um, see what, what it catch, catches your eye as far as being a very um, attractive piece in the house yes. and really leverage on that as well so you can create some trust. Do you uh, draw designs or sketches or anything like that? Yeah, at, at first I do an analysis of, um, of mm -hmm. what it is that we want to redesign and then yes I do. I, I take it all back and go, uh, you know, create a design and then uh, uh, speak to the customer again. I think one of the first steps is always decluttering though, right? right. Anytime right. you go into a house, you got yeah. to declutter, then move things around. Right. Do you offer any services or help people with the decluttering? Yes, so as far as decluttering, you're absolutely right. Some have more than, uh, than not. A lot of the times when I do go into a home, they will declutter on their own. Uh, just some suggestions of what it is that they need to declutter. But we also do that as well. Um, you know, we rent the bins and so on, and uh, we, I will help customers in declutter um, if that's the route they choose to go. That's great, that's yeah. great. Um, you, as well as staging, you also have um, a renovation uh, program? Yes. yes. Yes, can you tell us about that? Sure, okay, so reno the renovation is one of my passions as well. Um, and really cre creating that, um, creating that when, when a customer comes in, obviously creating that focal point, creating that uh, desirable for the, for the client, because a lot of the times client does know what they want, but they really don't know how to go about it or have the time right. in most cases. So uh, really uh, transforming that home is what it's all about as and well. And you did a great project just recently. Uh, you totally renovated and staged 
a home and yes. we have before and after pictures mm -hmm. of this home. Can you tell us a little bit of history about that before we look at the before and afters? Sure. So this, this home was one of my very first projects. It was uh, a great journey. It was an emotional and also inspiring and rewarding journey that myself and the, the client went on as well. Yes. Um, it was a hoarder house. I, the uh, owner has dementia and oh, it basically from bad. ceiling to uh, from floor to ceiling it was filled with stuff. Yes. Uh, we gutted out the whole house uh, and uh, did a whole renovation uh, with the okay. house. Okay. Yeah. I think the first picture is going to show us that the 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 part where the hoarding in the living room seems right. to be a lot of uh, uh, can we put those pictures up and we'll talk about that? It looks like there's a lot of boxes and furniture. Yes, there is. And, I, and actually, this is good compared to the way it was. So that's still a lot of work to be done. Um, it was The house was in very terrible shape. So this is the living room. Um, mm -hmm. And the after picture, um, we, we painted the walls, all new uh, baseboards, trims, new floors, uh, new window covers. Um, basically, all that was left here was the walls. Right, so it seems like you just eliminated the uh, window coverings, and did you put anything on the windows there? Yes, we do, with uh, blinds. You just simply okay, just made light, it very light features, right. keep the features light yeah, on simple. the windows, yeah. and then uh, you just added uh, one piece and, uh, and the uh, artwork too, yes. and everything yes. is flowing and blending. Uh, just a really clean line and a really clean look and uh, some accent pillows, some color with the accent right. pillows and the uh, accessories, right? Yeah. So that looks really good, very good. Did you rent this furniture? Yes, the furniture uh, I, d I did rent from a renting uh, from rental company. The uh, rest of the accessories are mine. Uh, I do have uh, accessories that I store as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you also give people quotes for that, I do. right? Yes. Okay, so let's move on to the kitchen. Okay, so the, so the kitchen was quite a mess too. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the before and after yeah. for the kitchen. So, so the kitchen, uh, it was a total rehaul of the kitchen. We also we also changed the design of the kitchen to create a more of a space and also a better flow. Looks like you, you redesigned see. the kitchen. We did. We redesigned the whole kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The only thing that stayed in its original place was the stove. Uh, the fridge was moved, the dishwasher, the sink. Uh, we took away the island, uh, created a uh, really nice flow into the eating area. I like the hardwood yeah. floors in yeah. the kitchen that flow right into the hallway right. so there's no break in the line. No. Yeah. So we, uh, we decided to put hardwood floor all over the house uh, on the main floor and upstairs in the bedrooms as well. Mm -hmm. And there's granite countertops the, I see and uh, yeah. undermount sinks and mm -hmm. yeah. very fancy faucets. Did you keep the same cupboards or no? No, Those no, are it was, new, uh, all it was, new cupboards. It's on you. We have also pot lights. Uh, we put pot lights in the kitchen as well and uh, light fixtures throughout the house. Okay, that looks great. That is amazing. And we have one more picture of the hallway. Mm -hmm. uh, the hallway seems to be also redone with the hardwood floors. Yes. And uh, new fixtures. Yes. New light fixtures? Yeah, new light fixtures. Tell us what you did to the staircase. So the staircase um, comes at you as soon as you open the house. So create, I mean, looking at the uh, before picture didn't create a warm feeling. Uh, we uh, did a hardwood staircase, painted mm -hmm. the pickets, painted the risers of the, the, the steps, um, and really creating a really nice flow throughout the house and, uh, and also a very appealing when you walk into the front door. Okay, and this house was listed for seven hundred and ninety-nine thousand, and it sold for how much? One million eighteen. Wow. Yeah. So, and in how long and, after and it was staged? And uh, what well, was staged? Put on the market within a week. It was within sold. a week. Yeah. So and we had got, a bidding more actually. Wow, that yeah. is great. That's two hundred thousand dollars over the list price. That's mm -hmm. amazing, and that's what getting the right realtor, the right stager, does when you sell your home. That's right. yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank okay, you. that was a nice uh, renovation that you did. Where can right. people reach you? Uh, what's your contact and website? Okay, so my website is um, blackdiamondhomestaging.ca and also um, they can reach me at carol.blackdiamondhomestaging.ca as well. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for coming, Carol. I enjoyed you. having you here. Thank you for having me.